In this video, I'm going to talk about an admin environment request app, which is a part of core component solution. Now, uh, there are similar app called as admin environment request and maker environment request. So the whole workflow process works in this way. Maker requests for an environment creation within a tenant. Admin receives that request and admin can either approve or reject it. On a similar term, a uh, maker can request for a DLP policy change request. The maker can say that there is a DLP policy, but I want to apply this to say specific environment, which I just recently created, or maybe the environment which was already there before. Now those requests will also be received by an admin and then admin can either approve or reject the request. So as you see in the slide, uh, it tells you that it's uh, it's this app has an ability to configure the feature using the set of wizard. So, before we even trigger this app, it needs to be properly configured. So uh, uh, we go into the COE setup and upgrade visit process, go into the environment request management section. As you see on the bottom of the screen, you need to configure this feature beforehand, which I've already covered in the maker environment request video. Now, uh, we can also view all the DLP policy listed in the tenant using this app. And we, we can also view or hide the data policies from makers. Let me uh, show you some demo. Okay, so uh, before we even trigger the app, I told you that you need to go into COE setup and upgrade visit process, go into the environment request management, click on configure this feature. Now, once you start the configuration process, it will uh, navigate you through a visit based approach. Uh, it's basically as an introductory screen. Uh, it will tell you to turn on all the flows related to DLP request, environment request, and uh, uh, syncing policy, shared policy. So for, you need to enable all these flows for uh, the proper workflow to uh, work correctly. You can configure mandatory values. Uh, it's all about auto approval and enabling cost tracking. Put the parameters as per your need. You enable the data policies for the makers. Now uh, I can enable or disable some policies over here for the makers. And the next step is to share app with this admin and maker. So currently we are focusing on admin environment request. So admin environment request is exclusively for admin only. Now, how do you open this uh, application? One is you can share this with the user or uh, you can go into the solutions, core component solution, and then you can go into admin environment request app and then click on play. So once you do that, it's a basically a Canvas app. It will open this app uh, in the screen, admin environment request, uh, and then you can uh, view uh, all the details. Now on the left menu, you will see environment request. You will see data policies and you will see uh, DLP policy change request. Now. Going to environment request. Now, these are some of the environment requests which I have already submitted using a maker. Okay. What this you can do is like you can navigate to any of the request and click on view. If you click on view, you will get more details about that request. Like what is the current state? Who requested it? Does this have a data verse? Can this expire? What is the requested duration? Business area? Any justification? You can also modify the policy as an admin. You can set up some security groups if you want to. And you can also put some notes. Like say, if I say, uh, I don't approve uh, the justification. Okay. And then you can save the note. Okay. Uh, and then uh, once you are done with it, uh, you can put your decision. Okay. So I've just saved this record. Let me again go back to this record and then uh, I'll just click on view and then I can make my decision either approve or reject or maybe I can email an admin. So all the admins within the COE uh, uh, administration group uh, will receive this email. Okay. Now I'm going to just reject this request. Okay. So I'm just rejecting and then you will see that uh, environment creation request has been rejected. Okay. Data policies. Now these are the set of data policies which uh, I can see over here is uh, uh, is all the data policy uh, or the data loss prevention policy which has been created for this particular tenant. I can uh, make this uh, 
policy visible to all the makers because if you see the tick over here it's missing so that means this policy is not visible to the makers so the first two is visible to the makers but if i want to say uh, make no social media and google as uh, hidden to the makers i can do that and only block adobe will be visible to the makers while making some changes to those uh, policy request okay uh, alternatively i can also make it visible so that uh, this particular policy is uh, visible to all the uh, makers so i'll just say make visible okay and i'll just save this request okay now uh, what are the other things i can do with this is i can say go into this particular policy and see the details of it okay now the detail is basically a description it says provide a description about this policy that explains its purpose and scope it will be visible to makers in the maker environment request application okay so if the first thing first what you need to do is make it visible to makers and then put some description around it okay moving on to the third part policy change request now as a part of dlp policy maker can suggest a policy change request to an admin now in my previous video i have created one dlp policy change request and submitted to an admin which i have received over here so what it says is like i want to apply policy to an environment okay this environment and then i want to apply this policy now if you want to see the detail again you select this item click on details and then you will see the detail for the policy change request i can either approve or reject it and you can also approve and reject from the screen alternatively you can also edit this policy in the admin center so if you click over here then it will navigate to a admin center and then from admin center you can uh, review the policy change request as well so that's it folks so this is all about admin environment request app within core component solution of the center of excellence startup thanks for watching